So let's go ahead and go back to the Jupyter Notebook for this lesson and look at two very common built-in functions. And if you watch the um, earlier parts of the, uh, the earlier lessons, I used the print and input function several times. So we're gonna do a little deeper dive into that right now. So the print function, um, it, for the print function, the argument that you pass into the function is the thing that you want it to show on the display. Um, there isn't any return value. In other words, nothing comes out of the print function. It simply does something. It makes whatever you put into it show up on the display. Uh, the thing that you pass in could be a variable. You can also pass in nothing. Uh, you can also pass in literals like strings or numbers. So let's see what happens in each of these cases if we run this. So we see that for both the uh, variable and also the literal. In, in the case of the variable, it shows you the string that was stored in that variable. And in the case of the literal, it just literally prints whatever that thing was on the screen. Now, it's interesting to see what happens when we pass nothing in. On the print statement, when we pass nothing in, uh, I'd be tempted to say that it prints nothing, but that's actually not true. In all three of these cases, it's printing the string and it's printing what we call a new line character, which basically means go on down to the next line. So not only is it printing the value of the variable character name, which is Wilma, but it's also printing an invisible new line character that makes it go down to the next line. So if you don't pass anything into a print statement, all that it does is to print a new line character. And this is actually a convenient thing. If you're printing a lot of things and you would like to have a blank line in between them, you can just use a print statement and, and don't pass any arguments into it and you'll get a blank line. Um, now the other function that um, we very commonly use is the input function. In the input function, the argument that you pass into the function is whatever the prompt is that you want Python to give to the user of the script. So in this case, we want Python to ask the user, what is the name of the character? Now, unlike the print function, the input function does return a value. The value that's returned is whatever the person types into the keyboard. So we can take that value if we want, and we can assign it into a variable. So I'm calling this variable my character because the question that I ask is, what is the name of the character? Um, and then I can take the value of that and print it on the screen. So let's go ahead and run this. So we see that if we run this here and, and we get the same kind of behavior in the interactive shell, that when you do an input uh, statement, a box shows up. If, you, uh, um, if you've clicked somewhere else so that the focus is not on the box, then when you type things, it doesn't go into the box. So you have to, you, sometimes you have to click on the box. So if I say my character is Fred Flintstone, now in order to go ahead and pass that into the input function, I need to hit the uh, enter key if you're on a PC, or it's called the return key if you're on a Mac. So once I do that, it takes what I input, sends it into the variable my character, and now you can see that it's printed the value of my character on the screen. Now, um, let's try this again. Uh, now, one problem that people have sometimes is if, if they don't immediately type in a value and they click off, and now I try Wilma, uh-oh, I have now, instead of inputting the value, I've actually changed my code. So I have to go down here and click to give focus to the box. So I'm going to say the name of my character is this, okay? Now, this is actually an important uh, feature of what I was talking about trying to have descriptive variable names. Just because I called this variable name my character does not mean that it has to hold a character name. It basically can hold any kind of string. So if I type a nonsense string, 
that's what's going to go into here. There's no sort of checking sensibility checking. The uh, script is really actually actually rather stupid and just simply uh, takes whatever I type in and that's the value that is uh, returned by the input function.